Hi! Today you're going to get a sneak peek into the 2017 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalogs as I demonstrate for you a pretty card using the new Dragonfly Dream stamp set and the coordinated detailed Dragonfly Thinlet dies. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 15 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So while we're playing with the new Dragonfly Dreams bundle, we'll also use a couple of the new accessories from the 2017 Occasions Catalog. Here's a closer view of the fabulous Dragonfly Dream stamp set and the coordinating detailed Dragonfly Thinlet dies from the 2017 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. This starts January 4th, 2017. And when you order them together in the Dragonfly Dreams bundle, using the special bundle item number I have listed right here, you'll save 10% on both. And we're going to be using both of these. We've got the Framelit die and the Thinlet die. So we're going to start with some stamping. For my pretty Dragonfly Dreams card, we're going to be using Very Vanilla cardstock. Very Vanilla and not Whisper White because Very Vanilla is one of the colors in the gorgeous Falling in Love Designer Series paper from the 2017 Occasions Catalog. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how to get a generous portion of all of the designer papers in the Occasions Catalog with my Occasions Catalog paper and accessories share. Okay, so I have the Blushing Bride Classic Stampin' Pad. Again, one of the colors in the gorgeous Falling in Love Designer Series paper. So we're going to push, flip, lock that lid into place. And then I have uh, our Dragonfly. Isn't he pretty? Let's go ahead and give him a good inking. And we're going to be die cutting, so I'm just going for somewhere in the center. Okay. Fantastic. Now, I told you I'm going to be using that one die over top, so I thought, boy, I'd like more color. So look. I have the solid wings. Let's go ahead and fill this in. And with it being photopolymer, I can see where I'm going. Oh, fabulous. Okay, so we're done stamping. We're ready to go ahead and die cut. So I'm gonna grab my Big Shot die cutting machine. So I have my Big Shot die cutting machine and the dragonfly we just stamped. So we're going to start with die cutting the dragonfly. So here's the sandwich. Instead of using the Big Shot platform, I'm going to use the magnetic platform. This is fabulous for frameless dies. It's an additional purchase, but one you'll be very pleased with. So the next part of our sandwich is a cutting pad, and then our stamped image on our cardstock, and then our framelit die. Okay. And so it's going to frame the image we just stamped. And did you hear how that clung? Love it. So it just stays in place without needing to use any additional adhesive that sometimes I've, you know, taken it off that I've ripped my project. Okay, that's looking good. All right, so the rest of the sandwich, another cutting pad. And we'll just crank this through. Isn't this just a marvel? I mean, I enjoy hand cutting, but hey, when we can do this, <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, so our sandwich is going to change for the Thinlet die. The sandwich we're going to use for the beautiful detailed Dragonfly Thinlet die is the Big Shot platform with the thin die adapter. Instead of using the cutting pad on the bottom, I'm going to use the precision base plate. This is an additional purchase, but if you're using the detailed intricate dies, you're going to love this. And so, you know, once you purchase the magnetic platform, the precision base plate, you're all set. We're going to use them over and over and over for years and years and years. So we put the writing side down, and then we need our cardstock. And I have the Sweet Sugar Plum cardstock, one of the colors in the gorgeous Falling in Love Designer Series paper. Okay, so we're going to be using this very intricate die. I could use my fine tip glue pen when I'm done, but instead I'm going to use a Sizzix adhesive sheet before we die cut it. Stampin' Up! used to carry these and they just, I loved them. Just that's where I learned about them and they just make it so easy. So I just peeled off that backing. We're going to put it on our Sweet Sugar Plum cardstock and it's going to make a sticker for us. Okay, so we want the adhesive sheet down and then our beautiful die on top. There we go. And the rest of the sandwich is another cutting pad. And we're going to go ahead and crank this through. 
3,000 pounds of pressure. Aha! And then, you know what, I just, while I'm right here, it takes me a couple extra seconds to just back up and do that again. And so then, let's pop this out of here. Look, it's already just falling out. We could use, let's go ahead before we just pop it off, the Big Shot die brush, roll that over. It helps get out a lot of those intricate pieces, but that just came out. That's the beauty of that precision base plate. And uh, so, you know what, before I sit there and start poking all of those out, let's just go ahead and peel off the backing for the adhesive sheet. And look, almost all of them came with it. Oh, beautiful. We've got one, this one right here. Oh, there, it just was ready to pop out. And so then we've got our adhesive all on it. Let me grab our dragonfly, bring him over. And we get to just put this right on top and let that pretty blushing bride show through. There we go. Wow. Beautiful. So we have our pretty dragonfly and we're just going to spruce it up a little bit more. I have here the clear wink of Stella. All right. So I was just thinking, oh, wouldn't that be pretty with a sheen to it? So just going to quickly go over top of it. That is, it's just something what this does. All right. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Really pretty on the card. We've got this in clear and gold. There we go. Oh my really is remarkable when it all comes together. There we go. And this doesn't take any time to dry. I thought we'll get this done and then we can work on the base of our card. Looking so good. While the Wink Estella is drying, we're ready for the gorgeous Falling in Love Designer Series paper. So I wanted to put a strip on there, but look, we've been doing this on the Stamping Playground. On my Stampin' Trimmer, I just cut this at an angle. Look how that dresses that up. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to attach that with some Fast Fuse Adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put about an inch in each corner. But before we put that down, let's leave that adhesive side up. Look, I have one of the new lace doilies and it's in very vanilla. Isn't this pretty? But we're not gonna be able to see the whole thing. So we're gonna stretch them by going ahead and just cutting this in half. I have my paper snips. There we go. Cut that. And whoop. how about if we cut through the whole thing? <laughs> there we go. And uh, so I want it to peek out and it's going to stick to some of this adhesive. Let's see how much we want peeking out. Oh, that's looking really good. Okay, so let's just press it like that. Okay, I like that. And then let's go ahead and put some more Fast Fuse on top because we just used up, right, some of the adhesive. Okay, and I want to put it about right here from the bottom. Very, very pretty. Look what I have here. The very vanilla one quarter inch satin ribbon from the 2017 Occasions Catalog. So very pretty. So what we're going to do is wrap it around the bottom. And I want to make sure that it's flat. Here we go. And I like to work off the spool. I seem to not waste as much. And because the tails, whenever I tie a bow, go away from me, I just go ahead and turn my project upside down. Okay. Boy, all of the ribbons in the 2017 Occasions Catalog, very, very pleased with them. And they're all included in my 2017 Occasions Catalog and Accessories Share. And I'll show them all to you in just a bit. Okay, so there we go. Make our loop. Let's get our bow made. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so just tighten and fluff and tighten and fluff. Let me turn that a little bit. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's just trim off our tails. Don't need them to be quite that long. I like to trim them at an angle. Just very pretty, easy to do. 
Oh, great, great, great. Okay, so just a little bit of stamping to do and a couple little touches. Before we add our beautiful dragonfly, let's go ahead and add a greeting. We're going to use to a wonderful friend, dot, 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 but look what goes with it. You've got several choices. Thanks for the smile and everything else. Enjoy your special day, and you sure know how to make someone happy. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to use sweet sugar plum, so classic stamping pad. Let's push, flip, and lock that lid into place. Let's give this a good inking. There we go gently tapping on our pad and I want to come right about right here oh looking so good love 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 coordinating colors there we go let's put that away okay and so we could just put that right on there but oh why do that when you have stamp and dimensionals such an easy way and an expensive way to dress up a card one right there one right here Oh, looking so good. Okay, take your thumbnail and look how it just pops up that edge. Come off very easily like that. All right, and I want some of that pretty doily showing. Look at that. Isn't that just so much better than just laying there flat? So again with the Stampin' Dimensionals, let's bring these back. And because we have the ribbon around here, we either need to use mini glue dots or why not dimensionals? Why not give it some more lift? Because it won't allow the cardstock to lay flat. The fast fuse and snail adhesive work really well when the cardstock is flat to each other. But you put something in between it, like the ribbon, and you need a stronger hold. All right, so our same tip. Oh, you know what? I want one in the center. This is a good size piece of cardstock. Let's get one in the center for some support. Okay. There we go, one more. And so I'll have all the measurements for my card. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have a link to it on my blog post or it'll be <laughs> on my blog post if you're watching it there. <gasps> Look at that, that dresses it up so much. So we just have one little finishing touch. Look at this, the basic pearls. I mean, everything is so pretty. So let's use some different sizes. Here's a medium. I like to push down on them, take my paper piercing tool and get up and underneath. There we go. So I can place them. Because they're little, you know, to sit there and try to hang on to them with my, my, get them off of there with my fingers and place. I feel like I'm in the way. Let me press down, up and under. Okay, there we go. And so we're doing like Grandma taught us an odd number, so that one is by itself. So since we're doing odd numbers, I'm going to use all three sizes. I got large, medium, and small. We'll do three over here in a grouping. Let's get one of these teeny tiny ones. Does that paper piercing tool make life so much easier? There we go. So once we're happy with the placement, go ahead and press on them, because that's some very good adhesive. Look how pretty this is. And you know what? Those that participate in my 2017 Occasions Catalog Designer Series Paper and Accessory Share, they're going to get this as a thank you card. Okay, speaking of that, let me grab the accessories to show you and the designer paper. Look at all of this paper. There is so much it takes two hands to hold. That's because when you participate in my paper shares, you get one sheet of every pattern. Not one double-sided sheet, but one sheet of every pattern. So if there are 12 patterns, you get 12 sheets. The portions are so generous that often my customers find that they don't need to buy the individual packs. Okay, and then look, here are the accessories in my Occasions Catalog and Accessories Share. Oh, well, we just use these doilies, and look, this is so cool. They're very vanilla on one side and white on the other. Love it! <laughs> and then, of course, the beautiful accessories and fun ones to go with it and the ribbon. We just use the very vanilla and then we have all of these ribbons and these fabulous, fabulous embellishments for the guys. So if you'd like to participate in this, I'm going to have a link under the video so you can go and join and get yourself a very generous portion of all of the designer series papers and a share of the accessories. 
starting January 4th, 2017, you'll be able to order the Dragonfly Dreams bundle and the accessories I use to make my pretty Dragonfly Dreams card in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And if you participate in my 2017 Stampin' Up! Occasions Catalog Paper and Accessory Share, well, you'll get a generous portion of all of the designer papers and the new accessories. So to do that, look for the link under the screen. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.